Excuse me. Excuse me. Officers, there's a homeless woman. There's a homeless woman at the end of the platform. She's being eyed by some men, and I'm concerned that she's vulnerable. What do you mean vulnerable? I mean she's asleep on a bench and she's vulnerable. All right, lady, calm down. Show us what you're talking about. What are you looking at? Come on, dear. Rise and shine. Hold on a minute. Oh, dear. How come they call the squad for a DOA on a subway platform? Maybe it's a person of great renown. Maybe they thought we didn't have anything else to do. Hey, come on, folks. Let's go. You two the ones found the body? Yeah. Anybody see how it happened? Not so far. Cause of death? Paramedic's best guess is uh, cerebral hemorrhage. There's an abrasion on her scalp. Maybe from a fall, maybe not. He figures she's been dead about two hours. Not much blood. You got an ID? Emmy gave us the green light to tag and bag. All I found were house keys, a metro card, some kind of receipt. No purse? She had one, it's gone. Well dressed, mail's done. She puts in an honest day's work and waits for the downtown local to go home. Yeah, she caught the express. Yes? New York City detectives, is this the home of Stephanie Donatelli? It's the home of her children and her ex-husband. Why? Uh, uh, may we come up? I wondered why I hadn't heard from her. She was supposed to take the kids to a matinee. You didn't call? I figured she forgot. Even though it's not like her to forget, and I was pissed and surprised, I figured she had a lot going on at work. I didn't want to make a whole thing of it. I should have called. Steph never would have forgotten something involving the kids. Where did she work? She was a book editor at Arcade Publishing there at 23rd and Broadway. That's a block away from the subway. Look, uh, I know that uh, this is a lousy time to ask questions like this, but we have to know who might have known your ex-wife? Now, can you tell us anything about her private affairs? You mean like her sex life? Anything at all. At the age of 30, Stephanie came to the conclusion that she was gay. She still loved me. I still loved her. She adored her kids. We just needed to stop living together as husband and wife. Is she involved with anyone? She hasn't been for a long time. This last month or so, she's called me up on the phone at night, and we've talked and talked, and she's told me how lonely she is. We're really sorry for your loss. <laughs> Can you think of anything she might have had with her? Jewelry, a watch, an address book? Uh, she had the... Uh... One of those funny watches, a Swatch watch, I think it is, with Winnie the Pooh on it. She had different pins, different bracelets. There wasn't one that she wore all the time. Uh, there was a, a cross that my mother gave her, a little gold cross that she did wear all the time. <laughs> Token clerk tells us you're a regular, Rafi. Yeah. And you're a real pain in the ass to all the passengers. I don't bother nobody. The woman that cross belonged to was beaten to death. Do you understand? I didn't do that. Hey, we got you on the subway platform, and we got you with the victim's possessions. Now, you have something to say? Because the train's about to leave the station. I saw who killed her. You sure it wasn't you? He was a black guy. Maybe 30, 40. One of the buggy guys goes off on you. Yeah, what did you see this buggy guy do? He was walking around, talking to himself, walking one end of the platform to the other. The train comes in, people get on, except for that guy. And you? I'm working that platform. I got garbage to go through. OK, what did you see? This gal comes through the turnstile. She stood near where the guy was. And all of a sudden, he hits her with a rock. She walks a little ways away from him. She grabs her head. 
drops down to a bench, and he walks over, and he grabs her eyeglasses off her, and then he walks right out of the station. And you robbed whatever you could off the body. That is what I did. I'm not proud of myself for doing it, but that is all that I did. Uh, a few days ago, you responded to an EDP in the subway? Yeah, guy took a leak on the, on the platform. Female passenger took exception. No collar? Would have just been a summons. Why? What happened? Uh, you think you could ID him? What do you do? We're looking at him for a homicide. I don't believe it. Did you get a name? He wouldn't give us a name. We tried to take him to a shelter, but he refused. Manager of an SRO on 8th Avenue owes me a favor. Took him over there. Somebody's in there. New York City Police Department, open up. You got a key? It's okay, it's okay. Take it easy. All right, come on, we're gonna get you up now. We need to take you out of here. Where'd you taking me? To the police department. We need to talk to you. I need to finish what I'm doing. Oh, you'll have plenty of time. Don't worry. Your Honor, I'm handing up the psychiatric report confirming this defendant's competency to enter a plea of guilty to manslaughter in the first degree and the death of Stephanie Donatelli and assault in the first degree arising out of an attack on Nadine Konchalovsky. You're satisfied with this report, Mr. Jordan? Yes, I am, Your Honor. Very well. Mr. Gallant, you understand that by pleading guilty, you will be sentenced to a period of 10 to 20 years? Yes. Did you kill Stephanie Donatelli? I need you to answer for the stenographer. Yes. Did you attack Nadine Konchalovsky? Yes. Can you tell us why you committed these crimes? No reason. Uh, Mr. McCoy, I assume a motion to vacate the charges against the individual currently incarcerated for the attack on Ms. Konchalovsky has been filed. It has, Your Honor. He'll be released as soon as I let corrections know that we're done. We're done. We're done. Please, Mr. Donatelli. You guys declare yourselves done, and you're done? You say the one and only person responsible for Steph getting killed is this lunatic? You put a line through it on your list, and then you pat yourselves on the back? Mr. Donatelli, I understand you're upset, but this isn't the time or the place to address these things. Tell me what is the time and place, and I'll be there. Tell me when you're going to hold someone accountable for turning him loose on Steph. And I'll be there. Leon Gregg, 34. He was awaiting trial for robbery, and his weight dropped 30 pounds in less than two months. Your medical treatment consisted of giving him an aspirin. Whoa, 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 whoa. This is the chief executive officer of the company. Our understanding is not that you're here to conduct an open-ended inquiry into inmate diagnosis. In the past six months, four inmates have died at the Rikers Clinic, three without ever seeing the inside of a hospital. Those six months correspond to the period SMJ was hired to oversee the jail's medical services. That's not fair. Are the terms of your client's contract such that he receives a bonus for denying a prisoner access to a hospital? Absolutely not. He receives a certain amount of incentive pay for successfully meeting targets, an arrangement recently upheld by the United States Supreme Court, by the way. Is it your reading of Pegram versus Herdrich that people like Brian Gallant can get released without warning the authorities, without follow-up care? Mr. Gallant had served his time. My client had no choice. Unless he was aware of the danger Gallant posed. I reviewed the procedures followed in Mr. Gallant's case. I believe they were, in all respects, correctly implemented. Mm -hmm. 